The first product on our list is LG UM 7300. At only about $300, the 43-inch version of the LG UM7300 may be the most affordable release from this high-end manufacturer. It's powered by a 1.2 GHz CPU and covers an impressive 90% of the cinematic DCI-P3 color gamut. The second one is Toshiba Fire TV. Available in 43. 50, and 55-inch versions, the Toshiba Fire TV is one of the few sets in its price range to support the high-end Dolby Vision HDR format. It works great with an antenna, TV box, or the built-in Amazon streaming service. The price approximately $250. This product has average 4.5 stars from more than 2,493 customer reviews, a customer said. To start with, I ordered my TV the day before Prime Day, since the Amazon branded merch was released early along with the 4K Fire Stick, not for this TV, but as a gift for mom. The Fire Stick was delivered the next day, but the TV had an expected delivery date of Thursday i.e. today. However, lo and behold, it showed on my porch on Tuesday. Kudos to you Amazon and FedEx for over-delivering on expectations. Setup was a breeze. Granted I had been through the Fire TV setup previously, but this was even easier. Once I was connected. The next product in our list is. Scepter Komodo. The 40-inch Scepter Komodo doesn't require you to make many sacrifices in order to add Ultra HD visuals to your entertainment center. With 4 HDMI 2.0 inputs, as well as HDCP version 2.2, this model allows for brilliant 4K streaming from nearly any source. This product is available on Amazon for $145. Check out the link in the YouTube. The average rating of this product is 4.5 stars with more than 58 customer reviews, a customer said. I knew I was buying the cheapest HDTV I could find that was this size, so I'm not complaining. I'd just like future potential purchasers of this TV to be aware that the sound quality from the built-in speakers is barely tolerable. Very tinny sound that I could not improve upon with the built-in sound adjustments. As for the image quality, if you are looking at the screen straight on, it is terrific. However, when you look at the screen at increasing angles, the image becomes fainter and blue tinted. I would buy it again only if I was desperate. The next product is. Scepter E246 BVFC. If you really don't want to spend a lot of money and don't have a ton of room, either, the Scepter E246 BVFC is worthy of consideration. It's 24 inches diagonally with a full HD resolution, so you won't sacrifice image quality when viewing most movies and TV shows. This product is available on Amazon for $86. Check out the this product has average 4.3 stars from more than 613 customer reviews, a customer said. I needed a small TV monitor for my summer house. I'm an avid gamer and movie lover, but my place upstate is meant to be as off the grid as possible. But during this pandemic, I needed something. So internet installed, brought my Apple TV and my PS4, and some Sony Bluetooth speakers to isolate and socially distance with my wife. This TV, for under $100, gave me an unobtrusive HDMI-equipped 1080p screen with speakers. The picture is great, the form factor and size is perfect for my needs, it works fine for my go-to-FPS game. Another happy customer said, I bought this one for a kitchen TV to be installed commensurate with a renovation. My wife likes watching cooking shows when she is in the kitchen and this was a perfect choice. Great picture, surprisingly very good sound quality. It is mounted on a wall mount. The next one is. Samsung RU 7100. From one of the top manufacturers in the industry, the 43-inch Samsung RU 7100 offers a remarkably sharp and accurate picture in addition to reasonable HDR support. It allows for direct HDMI and component video connections, and has a USB port for external media libraries. This product is available on Amazon for $327. Check out the link in the YouTube description below. 
This product has average 4.6 stars from more than 1997 customer reviews, a customer said. I've only had the Samsung UN43RU7100FXCA43 inches for a few days but here are my initial thoughts. This is the first ultra-high-def UHD TV I've owned and the first LED. The picture quality is superb. The difference between UHD and HD is extraordinarily noticeable even on ancient DVD movies and all TV shows. The setup and remote are almost as bad as the picture quality is good. The remote is dumb. It cannot be programmed to act as a universal remote, even though the confusing setup procedures imply that it can't so I have to have three remotes at. The next one is Scepter U518 CV. Possibly the least expensive 50-inch model with a 4K resolution, the Scepter U518 CV does not have any smart features, which some users will find a benefit. It uses the HDMI 2.0 standard and works perfectly with modern copy-protected digital content. The price approximately $230. There are 83 reviews which average rating is 4.1 stars for this product, a customer said. Nice set. Great picture. Sound is weak I highly recommend a sound bar or similar external speakers. Another happy customer said. I got this TV from another seller but came to Amazon looking for a Scepter soundbar, which I just discovered that I don't really need. I normally only do reviews on Amazon when I purchase items from Amazon, but I am simply, that impressed, by the TV and I wanted to address any negative comments about the poor sound quality for these TVs. Out of the box, yes, the sound quality is basically, annoying. You only hear middle frequencies, but what people don't realize is that there are not only basic bass treble controls, but under the advanced sound settings you. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.